Hi everyone and welcome to Keto Poppy. Today, breakfast cereal. It's a quick thing to eat in the morning and I just miss it. So I decided to make my own. I didn't put all my little fancy cups and stuff out because this is just something that we're going to do quickly. What I have here are almonds and I'm going to chop these. I'm gonna do a quarter cup of each of the nuts that I have on hand. You might have different nuts on hand, do whatever you want. I wouldn't use peanuts. Peanuts are much higher in carbohydrates. And if you're keto, um, peanuts are off the table anyway. And if you're thinking, well, what do you do when you want a peanut butter sandwich? I do almond butter and I just add a few sucre drops or some erythritol uh, or sucre and gold to the almond butter because it just has a better fat profile, protein, you know, you're in regular peanut butter, you're getting about 10 grams of carbohydrates per serving. And in an almond butter that's unsweetened, you're getting about two. I just, I feel like that's an easy, uh, no kind of no brainer sort of thing. So I have a quarter cup of almonds. I'm gonna put them in my little chopper. If you have a, if you have a food processor, all the better. I'll come back. I have my almonds chopped. I'm gonna pour them into the bowl, a quarter cup. Don't chop them too fine, because you don't want powder. And if you can get them pre-chopped, I'd recommend that. The next thing I have are macadamia nuts. These are wonderful, full of healthy fats, very, very low carbohydrates. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of those to my little chopper. I can get them in there, good grief. Cashews are also another nut that I love, but it's, it's just too high carbohydrate for me. And I find it does it, they do affect my blood sugar. So I'm gonna drop that in there. I'll chop those. All right, I'm gonna recommend that you definitely get these pre-chopped. You don't want them crushed, you know, just broken up a little bit because it is a pain in the neck to use that chopper. I use it for other things like onions and it works really well, but for nuts, not so much. These are walnuts. Um, I also like pecans and those are fine to use. So just doing a quarter cup of each different kind of nut. I'm gonna add some sunflower seeds. And I can't remember if these are salted or not. Yes. So we'll add a quarter cup of sunflower seeds. And I keep my nuts in the refrigerator because if you don't, they kind of get rancid really fast, especially if you don't go through nuts super quick. And the other thing I have out is an eighth cup of blueberries which is like 1.6 carbs and berries are really good for you. You just have to watch your serving size. But that's a lot of blueberries in a bowl of cereal. So I've got those out from the freezer and they're thawing. If you've got fresh ones, that's great. You can use those. I just happen to have frozen. So you just set them out for a little bit. What I have here is one tablespoon of melted coconut oil. And I use the virgin coconut oil, cold pressed, unrefined. And I can't remember why that's the one you want, but that's the one you want. So we'll pour that in here kind of helps everything stick. Okay. Then I'm going to do two teaspoons approximately. Like I said, we're just eyeballing this. It's okay. Two teaspoons of vanilla. And I wanted a little banana in this one. You could use, uh, you could use maple, you could use I mean, whatever you want. Just, you know, let, you can go to naturesflavors.com and they have I mean, they have celery extract. Who would even think of that? And if you're baking, you can use their concentrates, which really hold their flavor um, when cooked over a period of time, which is a great, great thing to have. All right, so we'll give that all a mix. That coconut oil is so good for you. It's, you know, your omega, I can't remember, but I know it's a good one. Those fats are healthy for you and they're gonna help fill you up. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, just cause I'm gonna add sweet. And I like pink salt. Okay. I'm going to add oops, a tablespoon of my monk fruit, sucre and gold, or not monk fruit. I'm going to add a tablespoon of sucre and gold. Give that a stir. Oh, it's looking good already. Talk about a heart healthy, cholesterol friendly breakfast for sure. All right. I'm going to add cinnamon because I think we've talked about this before, but cinnamon 
the heat of cinnamon balances out the coolness of erythritol. And I can really taste the erythritol. If you can't taste it, you don't need it. If you're allergic to cinnamon or don't like cinnamon, leave it out. You know, make it yours. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. We're going to give that a taste. And I'll see how many sucre drops I'm going to add. You don't have to add sucre drops. You can add more of the sucre and gold or erythritol or whatever you have. But I just think the sucre drops, for me, balance it. And a couple of drops in an entire recipe, I mean, this makes four servings, is just, it's not, I don't think it's going to hurt you. Okay, let's give this a taste. So I can get a little bit of every kind of nut. Oh, so good, guys. So good. I can really taste that banana. I'm going to give it four drops. One, two, three, four. I need to get the sucre drops people to sponsor the show because I think I plug them almost every single time. Get those on Amazon. Last forever. It's a, you know, when you're just using a couple of drops at a time and it's a four ounce bottle. So there's um, approximately 1,180 drops in there. So you can see that's going to last a while. Okay, we'll give this one more taste. I've got the oven heating to 350 degrees and that's just kind of to cook the ingredients on there. Okay, let's give this a taste. Mm, that's good. I really taste that banana. I like that. Okay, then it's going to go onto a cookie sheet. Mm, this would be a good base for a granola bar recipe. Just add some chia seeds, almond flour. We'll have to do that one. You're going to spread it out. I'm going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes. I'll watch it. These nuts are already roasted, so you don't want to go too long with them. If you got raw nuts, you could definitely go longer, but I have roasted. Into the oven with this, and I think I'm going to hit it with just a little bit more salt. Salt on breakfast cereal? Absolutely. Okay, this is going to go into the oven for 10 minutes, and then we'll come back. All right, we're back with our low-carb cereal. I put this in the oven for 300, at 350 degrees for 10 minutes to bake all of the ingredients onto the nuts. Then I took it off of the cookie sheet, put it on a cooling rack, let it cool for another 15, and then I popped it into the freezer for another 20. And what that does, and I store this in the freezer, what that does, or you can store it in the fridge as well, what it does is it hardens that coconut oil, and the coconut oil has all of the sweetener and the different spices that we used in there and it makes it stay on the nuts, which is what you want when you put it in milk. You don't want everything just to come off. So I just store this in a glass container and you can see there's, I try not to break up the clusters because those are so yummy. We'll get it all in here. And Don tasted it and he liked it as well. He's a little under the weather today, so we're not going to put him on camera, but I don't want y'all to catch anything from him. Okay, let me get this all off here. Store it in a little bowl. I'm going to take my... I love these little parchment sheets, guys. i got to tell you, I can't... I didn't even know they existed, and then they came into my world, and things have never been the same. Kind of like my husband. All right. I decided I wanted a little bit more spice on these. You don't have to do this. Optional next step. But I'm just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Not necessarily, oh my gosh, it smells good. I would, I would do that next time in the step before it goes in the oven. But not because I necessarily want it to taste like pumpkin, but because pumpkin pie spice, which you can buy at Walmart, Kroger, wherever, has cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice. And those are some really nice ingredients. Okay. So I'm not going to eat that whole bowl. That would be crazy. And I'm not hungry because I've done like four videos already today. So I'm going to do just a little less than a quarter cup. Put it here in my bowl so you can see what it looks like. Like I said, I just did a little bit. I'm going to put, I've been thawing some blueberries. I've got about an eighth cup here, but since I'm just going to eat a little bit of cereal, I'll show you that. Oh, that's so pretty. Maybe a little bit more. Got each berries. 
There we go. That's it with the berries on it. Very much like cereal, right guys? And here I've got some unsweetened almond milk that I just sweetened myself. You can use whatever sweetener you want. I use sucre drops. I put about three sucre drops in there and I put a little splash in vanilla to boost that vanilla and that's just me. I like to season everything. We'll pour a little bit of that in there. Oh, it's gonna turn purple with those blueberries. That's so pretty. Okay, and there is our cereal. So let's give it a try. And the seasoning won't come off it, or the, you know, the cinnamon and all that that we put in there, the spices, because the coconut got solid in the cold fridge and the milk is cold too, and so it just kind of adheres it to your nuts and your seeds. Mmm. It's like granola. It's so good. Mm. I didn't get the blueberries in the first bite, so we have to go back. Mm. That's breakfast cereal. I don't care who you are. It's delicious. Man, I'm going to eat more of that. That's really good. Well, there you go. Low carb, keto gluten-free. Uh, what other thing could I throw in there? Grain-free. Definitely not nut-free, but wow. It's so good. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me today, and make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the little bell, and you'll get a notification every time I make a video. Have a great day.